Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to Shiki and today we're going to be taking a look at the BTS White House full speech with English subs. Now watching this live, it actually didn't have uh, audio for a while <laughs> and um, and unfortunately they didn't have subtitles uh, but they didn't have like an interpretation and then a lot of things happened in my real life where I couldn't I couldn't give it the focus that I wanted to. Uh, uh, it was Yesterday was an awful day for me but you know today's a new day so... We're gonna go through this, and we have some English subs here. Thank you, uh, Asian Mania. And uh, yeah, let's go. I will let the the band take it from here. There's also some bonus clips we'll check out at the end. And meeting Biden. We're gonna each speak. Uh, we have a, a, a look at them somewhere here. There you go. Good to see you. Um, so they'll each speak first and then the interpreter will come back up and interpret what they just said. They're not going to take any questions. They're just going to come here and, and give some give some um, some words and then we'll start the briefing. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Karine, for your kind words. And so respectful. BTS. And it is a great honor to be invited to the White House today to discuss the important issues of anti-Asian hate crimes, Asian inclusion and diversity. Mm -hmm. 네, 오늘은 AANHPI 헤리티지 먼스의 마지막 날입니다. 어, 저희는 AANHPI 커뮤니티와 뜻을 함께하고 기념하기 위해 오늘 백악관에 왔습니다. 네, 어, 최근 아시아계를 대상으로 한 많은 증거 범죄에 굉장히 놀랍고 또 마음이 안 좋았는데요. 어, 이런 일이 근절되는데 조금이라도 도움이 되고자 오늘 이 자리를 빌어 목소리를 내고자 합니다. 와우. 네 오늘 저희가 이 자리에 올수 있었던 것은 저희의 음악을 사랑해 주시는 다양한 국적 언어 문화를 가진 되게 팬 아미 여러분들이 계셨기에 Army. 이 자리에 올수 있었다고 생각합니다. 정말 감사합니다. Army. 네 한국인의 음악이 서로 다른 언어와 문화를 넘어서 어, 전 세계 많은 분들께 닿을 수 있다는 게 아직까지도 좀 신기하고 어, transcending everything. 어, 네 신기한 것 같습니다. 그리고 이 모든 걸 연결을 시켜주는 음악이란 건좀 참으로 훌륭한 매개체가 아닌가 싶습니다. 어 나와 다르다고 어 그것은 잘못된 일이 아닙니다. 옳고 그름이 아닌 다름을 인정하는 것으로부터 평등은 시작된다고 생각합니다. 네 우리는 모두의 각자의 역사를 가지고 있습니다. 오늘 한 사람 한 사람이 의미 있는 존재로서 서로 존중하고 이해하기 위한 또한 걸음이 되기를 바랍니다. What an amazing. Lastly, we thank President Biden and the White House for giving this important opportunity to speak about the important causes. Remind ourselves of what we can do as artists. Once again, thank you very much. Round of applause. Round of applause to every single one of them. Absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of them. I think this is the closest that I that I could relate to. I don't know if this is the same feeling. Maybe for those of you out there that have kids, is this how you feel when you're proud? Is this how you feel? Like, I'm not their parent, of course, but I'm so proud of them. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's like someone it's like someone that I hold very dear has succeeded or done something, and I'm just so proud of them. And I hold them very dear, and I'm seeing them succeed and do these things, and I'm like, wow, look at them. They are using their voices for such an incredible cause, and and it's not the only cause that they use it for, uh, but this is so important. And you know, the way they carry themselves, absolute class. This is what I mean, you know, you know, they have so many funny moments, so many, so many, uh, you know, playful moments. But when it's a serious moment, you see how they carry themselves, absolute class, elegancy. And most of all, you can feel the humbleness coming from their words. Uh, what did they say here? You know, transcending cultural differences, languages, nationalities, we're all united. Uh, they talked about army. Uh, they talked about how we need to, you know, how awful it is that you know the anti-asian uh, hate crimes have have risen or uh, increased which is which is uh, such a shame so you know they are using their voice once again and they're being such so respectful about it and they're talking about these important things and one of the things that really stuck that sticks with you is Jungi's it's not wrong to be different we need to learn to understand and embrace the differences between people. That's that's the most important step. Like if someone's different than you, that shouldn't be a reason for you to hate them. 
you know, like Tay said at the end, understanding each other and taking the time to know each other and realizing that being different isn't wrong. You know, not everybody's going to be like you. We're all different. You know, they didn't miss. And I love how they talk about their standing with the uh, 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 Asian American, uh, Native Hawaiians and uh, Pacific Islanders community as well and celebrating this month. It's such an important thing here because they have power and they have influence and they have a voice and you know a lot of communities may feel kind of kind of hurt or or unheard so bts uh you know speaking about it is is uh, such an amazing thing but there's also some other uh things i wanted to look at oh we have right here bts meeting and talking to present uh joe biden it's an honor to meet you mr president Welcome to the White House. Come on up here. All right. Wow. This is an important month here in America. A lot of our Asian Americans. This is incredible. <laughs> I'm so proud of them. American wow. friends have uh, been subject to real discrimination. Hate only hides. When good people talk about it and say how bad it is, it goes down. Mm -hmm. So thank you. We want to say thank you um, sincerely for um, your decision like such as signing the COVID-19 hate crimes act into law. So we just want to be a little help and we truly appreciate the White House and the government's um, trying to uh, find solutions. People care a lot about what you say. Oh, yes. And what you're doing is good for all people. It's not just your great talent. It's the message you're communicating. Mm. It matters. Oh, my God. I got goosebumps again. The message. The message, they're incredibly talented and they can do so much. Well, whatever they want, they can really do. But they chose to speak about things that are truly important to us. And they actually help people uh, daily. They, they make you feel not alone. They make you feel heard. They, um, they stand up for you. And honestly, they don't have to do this. They don't have to do this. They can just mind their own business. But that's what differentiates them from other things. They chose to do this. They chose, you know, to take this path because they truly believe in it. And that's the kind of people they are. Uh, I am so proud of them. Unfortunately, there's some other clips that I saw, which I can't, I guess, I don't know if I can find it. But as they as they go out, someone is screaming, BTS fighting. <laughs> and they also, like, uh, you know, say, Kamsamada, thank you. And it was such a, such a wholesome moment. They're so wholesome. I am so incredibly proud of them. Um... You know, next step is the moon. <laughs> you know, they have just they have just influenced everybody. And I'm glad that they're being shown the respect that they deserve here by President Biden and everybody else. Um, that just showcases the, the the weight that they have around them and that the respect that they've they've earned uh, and are using for good use. You know, I am I'm just I'm just so proud of them, really. That's that's the bottom line. I'm so proud of them. Um, you know, they looked amazing. They all uh, handled the situation uh, incredibly well. And the speeches were great. I love that they all had a little segment. I thought only Namjoon would speak, but this was really nice. They all had a segment that played into the greater message when, when you combine everything. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.